Hello everyone and welcome to Mangu's workshop. It's pre-release day. Me and Tommy got our hands on two pre-release kit of mergers at Karl of Manor and this is a thing I've been wanting to do for a while which is playing a pre-release on my YouTube channel before you actually get to go to your pre-release, kind of as a practice, right? Me and Tommy, we will be building our pool, doing some unboxing and playing against each other so that you today, tomorrow or on Sunday when you go to your local game store to play, know the cards a little bit better. Very excited for this. This feels like a pre-pre-release of some sort. And uh, if you've been watching the first video we posted about the popper gameplay, I wanna thank you all. The feedback has been amazing. Of course, huge thanks to Tommy as well for the great editing. And hopefully this video will be very quick because I really want this to be on time on Friday for you. Okay, Tommy, let's go. Let's see what rares did we open. Yes, that's how you do it. All right. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, let's see what I got. Ooh. I got Tozmir, Light at Midnight. No, it's super powerful. Is it? Five mana, three, two, lifelink. And a lot of words on this card. Tommy is usually the guy that does green-white stuff, but yeah. maybe I am the one who's gonna do green-white stuff today. I'm so jealous. Let's see what I can get. Wait, I got a Mythic foil one as well? Melek. That's cool. So I have a rare with a pre-release stamp and a foil without the pre-release stamp. That's it. Just those two <laughs> cards, but uh, that's a good start. Okay, guys, let's see what I've got. This code, uh, look under you. <laughs> what is this? Gruul card, Yarus. It's very cool. Pretty cool. Yarus. Whoa, I got the big bad wolf. Who's that? Boya. Yeah, the card I wanted. One of the few cards I know from the set. So that's a Naya Mythic Rare. And yeah. so apparently you get a Stamped pre-release card and rare and a mythic rare? Is that is that what it is? Everyone is gonna get a rare and a mythic rare? Maybe. This is what we got at least. Okay, Tommy, let's get let's go ahead and open our packs as well. Because of course we're gonna open the pre-release foils and the six packs. Okay, so we each got a rare and a mythic rare foil, and we got six packs. So yeah, let's get ready at this. Let's let's unpack. Ooh, I got a rare Surveillance. Those will be good in Modern with Fetchlands. Whoa, two rares I got in the same pack. The rare mm -hmm. Surveillance and the, the one with the enchantment that you can play the card from the top of your deck. Because you know how like these new packs have the, are like set boosters, sort of. You can get more, more than one rares. Did you just get one rare? I just burned up one. <laughs> <laughs> You're already outlocking me. <laughs> Ooh, I got a census trophy. They reprinted a census trophy and I opened it. Ooh, I got a clue. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, in my booster, there this thing, the, the pictures of the cards, again, similarly to what happens in the set boosters. Because remember, there's no more set booster now. These one are called play booster. Ooh, I got the reprint of Travel Inspector, Novice Inspector. This would go, well, probably in my deck today and in my popper decks. This is the Think Twice. They reprinted Think Twice. 
basically. To want to draw a card, make a clue. So actually, better than think twice. Ooh, this uncommon is probably the one of the best uncommon. It's a five mana three three. When it comes to play, you may sacrifice an artifact or a creature, and if you do, you exile target creature. Maybe maybe white and black. I also have a murder. Very nice so far. Ooh, I love this common here. It's a green one. It's a four mana three three. When it comes into play, you make a clue, and when you draw your second card each turn, it gets a plus one plus one and vigilance until end of turn. I don't know if I'm playing green, but this card, if, I, if you're playing green, you must be excited for. Ooh, I got another rare dual land and another Tolsmere and, whoa, three rares in a pack I got. How is this fair? <laughs> I got three rares in a pack. I got the rare Rakdos land. I got a second Tolsmere. So my deck will probably contain two Tolsmere, yeah. and I got Drag the Canal, which is super powerful, probably constructed playable. I got a token for you as well. Oh, nice. <laughs> now one of my two Tolsmere <laughs> will, uh, <laughs> will make a Voya. <laughs> Okay, so we unpacked everything and I'm super excited for my deck. Not only I opened a Tolsmere as my pre-release card promo, I also opened another Tolsmere. So my green-white deck looks great. I also have opened some decent black cards like Tasia and Assassin's Trophy. I got some fixing, so I'm gonna build a Absent deck. I have a ton of this guy's cards and uh, Tom is gonna be so confused. He will never know what how to play around the good one. I also opened a couple of uh, survey lands. Those will be good for constructed. Even in modern, I think this will see play. So definitely pick them up, especially in uh, Merc Tide, Team of Rhinos, I will, I'm excited to try those. And uh, yeah, so this is what I got. I have a bunch of rares. I'm pretty excited about this pool. I decided to splash a color, but I don't do that lightly. In Sealed, if I splash one card, I need three sources. If I splash two cards, I need four sources. In particular here, I'm splashing Teza and Assassin's Trophy, so I need four sources. What do I have? Well, I have this Panther that cycles a basic. I have this Gardener that can disguise into a basic. I have this Crime Scene that can filter a, a black mana. And of course, I'm gonna play one basic Swamp. And now it's time to do some more unboxing. I'm gonna open a new pack of Cortex Sleeve Petrol Collar. And uh, we're gonna use these for to sleeve both mine and Tommy's deck, so yep. Let's get to it. Thank you once again to Ultimate Guard for being the sponsor of the show. And in the com in the description, you will find the link. And if you shop directly from Ultimate Guard with that link, it has an affiliate code with Mango's Workshop. So check it out. Okay, guys, we are on Naya. Uh, basically, because the Big Bad Wolf Boya is very powerful. And I have also a lot of these guys' cards. Uh, they are pretty strange, but don't be fooled just because they are Azorius or Rakdos. Uh, because you can always play them as a morph 2-2 two, two for 3 mana. I am 3 color, but don't worry guys, I have a lot of mana fix. I could almost play Nid Nidget, the big bad guy, the guild pact. <laughs> uh, so, no worry here, we're gonna be fixed. All right, so decks are ready, all slipped up with some new Cortex sleeves. And before starting, I want to also shout out another sponsor of the channel, TCG Player. I've been working with them for a while, for a long time now. So make sure to shop from them with the affiliate link in the description. They sell all the cards, all the cards and also sealed product on North America. So yeah, check it out. And Tommy, shall we begin? Who's going first? How about we roll three dice once again? Let's go. I did a 10. 10. Very rounded. Let's see. Whoa! Oh. All right. Seven. You're on the play. Okay. Good thanks. luck. Good luck. That's a keep for me. 
Yeah, I got, allowed to. I got lands and spells, so keep for me as well. Go. I'll start with... A scry land. A scry land. A survey land. Foil survey land to start. Yeah. Foil. Very pristine. Let's survey. Put to the graveyard. Okay. And it's your turn. Nice. Draw. I'll play a... Equipment that gives plus one plus one vigilance, and if I pay top three mana, tap a creature, and it's a clue, so I can pay two mana to sacrifice it. Go ahead. Okay, let's go. Forest, your turn. I have a rare on my turn too, most likely. Yes, it's gonna be Hero of the Tenth District. It doesn't do much for now, but if I'll be able to collect some evidence, this will become a 4-4 with Vigilance. And you can do it. Pretty strong. Okay, Mountain. And a Trap card. Okay, so we're starting to disguise. So this has Ward 2, meaning that if I have a Shock, I have to pay 3 mana to kill it. But my hero of the 10th district is bigger than yours already. Okay, I will be attacking for two. I'll take it. All right, that's right on our ultimate guard digital life pod. There's always uh, Tommy has the bigger one as he's bigger, and have the smaller one as I am smaller. And then I'm going to be playing a creature morphed as well. It's gonna be a. I won't tell you. Come. <laughs> Mysterious one. We didn't open any more cards. I'm pretty sure they will make it, since in Council Factory they had it. So far, you just see the back of our Cortex leaves. Okay, first thing first, I'm gonna play a land. And I'm gonna search for a basic land and put it into play tapped. And I get a clue. Ooh, this is a clue of like some slime in the wood. I wonder, I wonder what does it mean, slime in the wood, hmm. I go, or do you, you attack? You can go. No, you, I don't. Do you wanna block? This one is powerful. No, 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 I don't believe you. I think you wanna block. Ooh, look at my, look at my just natural three-color deck over here. All right, I'm gonna offer the trade here. Attack with both of my creatures. No, no, no. I'm not gonna trade. Okay, so you take four, down to 14. And I'm gonna play a new morph card. <laughs> so many more. I mean, I have so many So more. many mysteries. <laughs> My decks are so many more. You can go. Go. Okay. Well, I'm gonna play a forest. Yes. And I'm gonna start by... Killing one of your mysterious creature. Okay, it was a, it was going to be a four, is, is a four three flyer. I'm pretty happy. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with that. Because remember, morph doesn't use the stack. So if I pay five mana to unmorph it, you can't shock it in response. Remember that. Okay, I'm gonna attack you for two. Okay, what Tommy just did is a beginner mistake that I want you to, to not do. When you manage your morph card, you don't have to show them. He just showed me what the card is and you at home, make sure to manage it like this on your playmat. Tommy, I just pretend I didn't see anything. Not that I can <laughs> recognize the card from the picture, but just in case. <laughs> All right, I'll take two damage from your mysterious card of 18. And then I'm gonna play another mysterious card. Okay. Being very f careful to not show it to you this time. <laughs> All right. On top and draw. I will pay two mana, collect evidence, two. So I'm gonna exile this five drop. And this, the hero, will become a 4-4 four -four with vigilance. That's powerful. That's <laughs> pretty powerful. All right, then I'm gonna also grow my morph card. It's, it's a 3-3 Vigilance now, 
and I'm attacking for seven here with a three three vigilance and a four four vigilance. Okay, I take everything. You take seven down to seven. Go ahead. Okay, first thing first, I'm gonna play forest. Then I'm gonna check my card. <laughs> <laughs> you attack? And I go. Alright, no block. Combat. Okay, you take just two. Just two? Okay, 16. 16. I'm the aggressor here, I'm not gonna block. No? Then I'm gonna kill all your creatures. No! Yes. No! Yes. Okay, what's three this? Three damage. Two money, you deal three damage. If you draw two cards, yes. you deal five instead. All right, it's dead. Um, All right, this thing says when it dies, you make a token, but of course it was a morph, so you had, I had to add two mana up to unmorph it. So it doesn't make any token here. Are you done? I pass to you. Okay, on top and draw. Play six land and I attack you with my four four. I'm gonna face up my card, my trap card. The, you reveal me, but yeah. I didn't know what it did. So okay, <laughs> tell me, tell me now what it does. So when this card is gonna is face up, I'm gonna exile a non-land permanent. Okay. If it's mine, I can put it back tapped under my card. Okay, so you can flicker it. Yeah, if it's yours. You get a detective instead. So you exile this and you get a detective. Yes. Okay, okay, so of course I can't kill that in a response if I had a kill spell. That's not how it works, or at least that's how I think it works. It's the beauty of playing fairy release. So you exile this and I get a 2 2 detective here. Okay, second main. Six mana, four three flyer. Your turn. Pretty big. It's gonna be hard. Hopefully two attacks. Boom boom. I win. At, at two, you killed one before. We have a second one. Let's draw. Okay, I'm gonna pass the turn. Just no attack this time. I like that. No attack. No attack. No land. On top and draw. All right, so you're at seven. Hmm. I'm going to attack with my flyer, four, three flyer. You do anything about it? I'm gonna reveal you. What happened? My trap card. Oh, 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 oh. what's that? A six, six, seven six, reach? seven reach. Hold on. I have a response. No, what do you have? My splash card, Assassin's Trophy. No. All the way from... Uh, Gills of Ravnica, ready to kill your thing. And you get a clue though. No, what do you get? No, you got basic land. Yeah, basic land, yes. Much worse than a clue. What do you do with about this four damage? I take it, uh, I have no rich creatures okay. anymore. Okay, <laughs> nice, so you get a three. And you know what? I'm gonna play another flyer. Stop it. It's a rare. It does some other things, but so far you have to care about that. Flying ability <laughs> with your three life total. Go ahead. The only one that matters. I'm gonna sacrifice my clue. Nice. Draw all your reach card. Actually, don't. Don't draw any reach card. It's okay. I have the, the this thing to tap it down. It's easy. I think I have it under control here with my abs and deck. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, play forest. And oh. I'm gonna fix one tree, <laughs> ready to block your detective. And I'm gonna play a face down card. Okay. It's up to you. All right, so in upkeep, this thing doesn't do anything because, well, we have the same cards in hand, and I take a draw. All right, I'll play my land. I'm gonna make a second lethal flyer. In response, oh, what do you do? I'm gonna first. I'm gonna fix my mana. Does it get a range? I take, no. I take a blue mana. A blue and, mana. Yes, and a white one to reveal my gargoyle. Ooh, your Azorius Jun deck. Yes. Do you tap this? <laughs> yes, um, I will tap this. You tap this. Yes. All 
All right, all right. So it's gonna be equipped. I will, uh, yeah, just uh, move the equipment on my detective. Is that okay now? It's okay now. I will uh, tap your flyer. Okay. And psh, attack you. You got me. Woo! You got me. Did you? Okay, Tommy. Game one was quick. What about the game two? Are you ready? I'm to, ready. I'm on the play again. For revenge. This time I'm gonna win. Yes, you're in the play again. Good luck. Okay, I'm very excited. I love the pre-release vibes here. Whoa, I'm super excited about a card. I keep. You keep? I keep. You keep, nice. Play a forest. Let's see what you've got. I have a Plains and a Novice Inspector. Now, this is a card that I'm so in love with. I played this a lot in Popper, grab an Inspector, and I even brought my own clue token from Shadows of Arinistrad. And I don't know if you guys know at home, but I top painted Pro Tour Shadows of Arinistrad. I came second, that was 2015, I was very young. And in my second draft, I had five copies of Thrabbit Inspector, so you better believe I'm gonna take a lot of Thrabbit Inspectors at the PT Carlo of Manor. Tommy, you can go. Play a mountain this time, and a new card, a case. It's an enchantment, when it comes into play, I go search for a basic land. Okay, so into that's it. And in order to solve the case, you need five colors among the permanents you control, and you showed me before some Jund Azor's action. And then at the beginning of combat, if you solve this, a creature gets flying, double strike, and vigilance. Uh, I don't know how much I feel, how I feel about that, but um, do I go? You can go. Okay, I'm much happier. Ooh, by the way, I'm much happier to attack with my Novice Ooh. Inspector. Yes, I pick one. Okay, so you go to 19, I'll uh, play a forest, and I play a mole. Now, this is a mole, and it ramps green, and if I play a morph card, end of turn, it gets a counter. I have a lot of morph card, or disguise, as, as, as they say. Super strong. It's a common. Let's see. In my hand, there's a bunch of common, and uh, no, no, no more. Play. Ooh, uh, nice plans. Naya. Yeah, Naya fixed. Nice Naya you got there. <laughs> And a disguise card. A disguise card. Yeah, All right, cool. It's your turn. On top and draw, so no more attack from my novice inspector. Okay. Play a planes. I'll top three, and I'm gonna play a disguise card. End of turn, I pass, and the mole get gets a counter. counter. Yes. You go. Ah, nice. Twice in a row, I went one, two, three. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, I'm gonna play a forest and I'm gonna deal four damage to your creature here. And because I did, uh, I dealt more than two damage to it, uh, I get a clue. Whoa, that's powerful. Man, this is a, a nice little two for one you got there. So you wanna kill my mold, but before yes. that I'm gonna float green and undisguise my gardener. That's a two-two that's gonna give me a basic land to my hand. So I'm gonna get a swamp over here to fix for my Assassin's Trophies and Friends. And yeah, you pass after that? I pass. Untap and draw. I'll play a Swamp. And I will attack you with my tutu. You block. I you block. You do? Okay, cool. Plus priority. Who is it also? <laughs> oh, nice. Gardener's mirror. Okay. okay. Search for a forest. You fix your mana. This dies. That's in your hand. And then post combat, I'm gonna play a four mana three two. That when it dies, I get a detective. Your turn. Okay. Another mountain for me. First, I'm gonna sacrifice the clue. Nice. Get one fresh card. Let's that's, see. That's a good what sign. And not, not a very powerful one. <laughs> <laughs> and another disguise. Untap draw. 
I'll uh, attack you for three. Yeah, I take three. You go to 16. All right, Tommy, it's time to show you some rare. So far, I've only showed you commons. It's Tosmir, the Light of Midnight. It's a 3-2 lifelink, comes into play, and because you opened it, thank you for that, I have Havoya, that's a token, that's a 5-5 trample, white and green, and whenever a wolf attack, if Tosmir also attacks this combat, I'm gonna force your creature to block my wolf. Pretty powerful yes. card to, to handle. It's... Imagine if you have two of them. Okay, I'll start with the planes and another this guy's card. Alright. Tapping my Naya. Double Naya. Do you yeah, do anything? Do you do anything? No, I pass. You pass? Oh no. My Voya is coming for you, my friend. Oh! Okay, okay, I'll show you that later. For now, let's combat. Are you ready? No, I'm not. I'm gonna flip this card to kill Tosmir. Okay, so you wanna kill my Tosmir exile, right? Yes. You exile my Tosmir, I get a detective. And yep, yeah, sure, I believe that. I'll attack you with my 5 5 trample and my 3 2. Man, Tosmir is good. Okay, I think I'm gonna take 8. You take 8? Yes. Ooh, I half your left order, you got 8. Okay, I'm not gonna stop here. I'll tap Abzan and I'll play a 2-1 Flyer Lifelink. Okay. And then I'll play a oh. Tap Land that can sacrifice to draw a card. It's basically like an Horizon Kenobi. Uh, you can go, Tommy. Okay, I play a Forest, land a return, and Another disguise, more for return as well. Okay, okay. And anything else you do? No, I have to block. All right, I your pay, army. Pay two, crack a clue, draw a card, and then untap. Yes. And I'm gonna play a seven drop, Tommy. Oh, really? Yes. Do you have seven drop? Seven drop. It's a spider. Five seven mana three three reach. What comes into play? I give out three plus one plus one counter between one, two, or three creatures, and then I gain life equal to the biggest doffness among creatures I control. So... That is a rare. <laughs> too powerful. It's okay, it's okay. You have a bunch of three... <laughs> two twos. Two twos. Um, I'm gonna give a plus one plus one to the... Vampire A and two plus one plus one to the novice inspector. Then I'm gonna gain five life because of Boya. Yes. I mean, have you done me any damage in this two games so far? Yeah, I think, I think the, so. the game before I attacked. Yeah, you for that's two. true. Sorry for something like Sorry that. for forgetting. And then I would like to attack. <laughs> yes. With all my creatures. Not much I can do here. How's it going? <laughs> After a very detailed math, Tommy's gonna block. Yes, I'm gonna block Boya. This guy here. <laughs> and this guy, I think. Okay. I'm gonna flip. Oh, what does it do? <laughs> when it dies, it, it does two damage. Oh, when it dies, it yes. is, okay, that's yeah, not that bad, too bad that... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine, right? You're fine, I don't know, let's count. You take three trample, three flyer, and three on the ground, that is nine, my friend. Okay. You go to minus... Go to minus one. Minus it's, one. It's my turn. No, 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 <laughs> you don't have any effects, the, the game is over, Tommy. Good Green, game, good game. white, featuring Tolzmir and a very good one, two, three, four, five, six, seven curve, won the game. <laughs> thank you for watching the pre-release here at Mango's Workshop. And also thank you for, to Tolzmir for making it very, very easy for me to build green, white, drawing on turn five, boom, boom, boom. It was, it was a good deck. I wish you the same luck of opening, uh, you know, good rares, school, uh, surveil cards and of course i want to thank the sponsor of the show ultimate guard shop from there with the affiliate code if you're for europe and tcg player shop with the affiliate code if you're from north america kind of covering all those angles there 
And of course, thank you so much again on the very nice comments in the old popper video, in the other popper video. I'm sure that, uh, you know, if you have anything good to say, please uh, tell me in the comments. If you have anything bad to say, don't, 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 don't say anything. Keep it for yourself. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, the usual. Thank you so much for watching.